Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide. And we are on November 30th, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. And welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Starting out here, always looking at the last 48 hours on our sun. No more major solar flares or CMEs thwarted our way. But we still have that triple threat. Three CMEs on their way, expected to impact Earth December 1st into the 2nd. Look at the last 48 hours incoming. We do have a big coronal hole getting ready for an Earth-facing event and as well in coupled sunspot regions. Looking out the last 48 hours outgoing. Multiple sunspots now turning away. Having a look at multi-spectrum, pointing out the last 48 hours of events. Of course, that strong M-class solar flare as well. Notable activity northwest and southwest. And then, of course, that big elongated coronal hole. 171 angstroms here. Just some amazing images brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory and some amazing friends and family sharing this with all of you. I want to thank you for watching, inviting me into your living room or wherever you're watching from. Thank you for tuning in. We have an active 11 sunspot regions that we are looking at right now. Looking at these sunspot regions in motion, another light. Space weather conditions currently, there are none. That's right, currently no zero space weather conditions. But as you can see here, predicted for the 1st of December, G3 strong geomagnetic storm impacts are expected. Voltage corrections, electronic systems may be affected. Current winds are coming in at 338 kilometers per second. Solar X-ray flux still only showing that strong M-class solar flare just recently long duration C-class solar flare, geomagnetic activity low at a KP1. Now let's have a look at, at the updated Space Weather Prediction Center spiral here, showing a cannibal CME catching up to the first two that had shot away at Earth. And this third one is gonna be encoupling everything on the day of impact. December 1st, 2023. Huge impact there. It's going to be interesting to see how things play out. Having a look here at the ISWA Space Prediction Center. Most recent CME, not in an Earth-directed fashion, outgoing. Nothing new to report here with ISWA. As I said, no new solar flares or CMEs to talk about. Having a look at the Aurora forecast for tonight, there is a low probability, but definitely across Canada, we will see something 20 to 40% chance. Watch for into tomorrow and tomorrow night, as I'm sure that this will change. We're expecting the G3 geomagnetic storm. Having a look here, Alaska 2, showing our sun's energy spewing away. Halo CME from the M-class solar flare. And before that, we had multiple CMEs, Earth-directed fashion. So heads up, stay safe and healthy, aware and prepared here with daily events worldwide. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours as we're sitting at about 220 earthquakes, according to USGS. We're going to start out here most recently with still some peculiar earthquakes. 4.3 in Zhengchang, China, as well as 4.7 Wuhan, China. Strange places for earthquakes as well as South Korea, 3.8 earthquake. Port Blair, India, 4.8 Afghanistan, Azerbaijan, 
and as well Greece, 4.2, South America, 4.9, Chile, and a 4.7 reported, and the largest earthquake today, a 5.8, South Sandwich Islands, and that is the North Island of the South Subduction Zone. Activity coming back to Puerto Rico today, 3.8 being the largest throughout the region. And then the United States, no major swarms to talk about. Notable 4.3 band in Oregon reported yesterday. Nothing else reported since then. Quiet across Hawaiian Island. Adak, Alaska reporting a 5.0 and as well a 4.6 there towards the Rat Islands. Then we get to Fiji here. Deep 606 kilometer depth earthquake. 4.7 magnitude. So yeah, watch for something larger and shallower to follow over the next 24 hours. This is a heads up earthquake warning video. We do have something coming. Let's have a quick look here at the last seven days for shakers around the world. Some of you are just tuning in for the first time. Thank you so much. And a lot of you like to tune in every day to stay up to date aware and prepared with our world and thank you thank you for all the memberships thank you for all the comments and love to this channel aware and prepared now let's have a look at the pacific disaster center showing the most recent satellite imagery and as well most recent volcanoes getting updated we've got popopocatito in mexico Pretty large eruption there as well. Reventador in Ecuador, Sabancaya in Peru, Semeru, Indonesia. Multiple flood alerts across Africa and China right now. Give you a more detailed look on the African floods as there are multiple right now. Thoughts of prayer is going out to everybody. Got Ibu in Indonesia as well. Dakono in Indonesia. Sangay in Ecuador. Fuego in Guatemala. Luatolo, Indonesia. Multiple landslides being reported to across Africa. So something big is changing on our planet. And it's happening to every continent. So heads up, everybody. Winter storms across northwestern United States as well drought. Snow squalls and snowstorm conditions through eastern Canada. Strong systems moving across the North Pacific. Set to bring in some strong winds and heavy snowfall towards the area. Floods across Australia, New South Wales, Southeast and Northeast. And as well, Tennant. And overlooking Africa, as you can see, multiple flood Icons here. These are the red ones with the little boats in the water. Right across the continent. From Uganda to the Congo to Niger. And as well, Mauritania. So big changes happening across the African continent most likely affecting hundreds of thousands, if not millions. So thoughts and prayers going out to everybody being affected by the floods in Africa. Heads up. Now let's have a look at the air quality forecast brought to you by Windy, as we have quite a thick SO2 plume in the North Atlantic that kind of came out of nowhere. That might be coming from La Palma. We're going to have to keep a closer eye on La Palma, which is a volcano in the middle of the North Atlantic, north of Africa, overlooking Southeast Asia and Australia. Still a large SO2 plume, Central Pacific. Overlooking Europe, showing that SO2 plume coming into North Africa, Morocco, now let's get to weather here, brought to you by Windy.com. Extreme weather sweeping across the United States, Texas, and along the border, Gulf border states. 
that will continue for the next couple days, but big system moving into the west coast and east coast by third and then into the fourth. And then Alberta Clipper forms for Ontario. And the cold temperatures will be coming in behind all this. Strong low coming into uh, Washington. Six into the seventh. And then watch this big system ramp up. Very organized low here heading towards Alaska. Very tight isobars. So extreme winds, extreme blizzard conditions, I'm sure, will be prevalent across Alaska and northern BC. Let's have a look over Europe. Multiple lows affecting you right now. And it will continue here as those systems keep swirling around and joining forces in the North Atlantic. Big high pressure ridge moving in in the long range. And that is going to really cool things down for you in Europe. Overlooking Africa, Australia, Southeast Asia. Still a pretty strong system heading into India forecasted here, but won't be turning into a cyclone. It's not forecast anyway through these models. Things will be drying out in Australia in the long range, but still daily evaporation, rains, lightning strikes, and wildfire conditions will continue. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected by worldwide events. Having a look here at North Pacific, watching these multiple systems race into the west coast of the United States and Canada. Quick look here at forecast snow totals, total accumulation, next 10 days. Watching the upper left for the snow totals. Parts of northern BC and Alaska could see upwards of 300 centimeters of snow. Coastal regions, inland BC, up to 100 centimeters. Pacific Northwest, United States, up to 40 centimeters, 20 to 40 centimeters throughout eastern Canada. And even up into Greenland, 150, 200 centimeters. Much love, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the show. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.